Hello and welcome to The Eileen Silverman Show. I'm your host, Eileen, and on this week's program, our guests reflect on the life of Nina Kessler Cameron, founder of Cameron Dance Center and the dance company of Gainesville. We reminisce on Nina Cameron's many accomplishments and focus on the future of continuing her legacy. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our program. I'm delighted to introduce my guest, Peggy Nolan Lamb, dance captain, choreographer for the Dance Company of Gainesville, dance instructor at the Cameron Dance Center, and a longtime friend. And Peggy, it's just wonderful to have you here. And I think about all my many years of taking jazz from you, adult jazz, at the Cameron Dance Center. As I said, our long friendship, and I am grateful that you and our other guests are here to reflect on the life and legacy of Nina Kessler Cameron, who, very sadly, we lost November 7th, 2021. I know how very close you were to Nina, and, and as I said, I appreciate your reflecting on her life with us. And so go back and tell me, how did you get to know Nina? Um, I was dancing at the studio that she was dancing and teaching at when I was in high school. And we did um, Guys and Dolls at the Gainesville Little Theater, it was called then, it now is the GCP. Right. And she would drive me home. I didn't, I was 15, I, <laughs> I couldn't drive and she would drive me home. And from there, I think through our love of dance, uh, it drew us together into a long-term friendship. And in 1983, when she opened the studio, the, right. dance, the Nina Cameron Dance Center, uh, I remember her talking about it and wondering, would people come? Right. Should she and do this? It's a, exactly. a big business decision. And people did come. And Becky Farber was um, her receptionist secretary at the time. She was the first um, president of the dance company when Nina formed that. But that first year, Nina taught 23 classes in one room. And I remember that one room and the one going room. to one of those, cl those classes. And then Becky took over a few. And then the next year, Nina offered me an opportunity to come and teach for her. And that, to have the philosophy of Nina and the studio that we love to dance and we wanted to share our passion and love for dance with the community and bring it out into the community and offer people an opportunity to come and learn about dance and learn about our love. No matter who you were or where you came from, you were welcome at the Dance Center and had an opportunity to perform. And that was Nina's passion, was not only dance and continuing in her growth as a right. dancer, as a choreographer, um, but sharing that with the community, and that was of the utmost importance to her. Yes, and, and that is, I think, what has made so many students gravitate to the dance center and the dance company all these many years. That spark that yes. she started way back when, that everyone is continuing on, that is part of her legacy. Mm -hmm. And and talk about the dance company, which is also a reflection of that same view mm -hmm. to give everyone an opportunity. Well, it started very small. Um, I remember, I was not here, but hearing about, they started at art festivals doing dances, dancing Christmas shows at the mall. And then she had a spring concert. The first year was at PK Young. Right. And the next year we moved to GHS. And we had a spring show every year. And we still had our Christmas shows at the mall and doing thriller anywhere oh, yes, and everywhere. Yes, still being done now. And right. yes. And then in 1993, the dance company put on our first show of Cinderella. Yes, and that the was magic. the year the Performing Arts Center opened. And that has grown. So our dancers have this incredible opportunity to dance yes. on such a lovely stage in a great facility and to be part of such great productions. Our spring concerts have grown in scope to yes. the choreography 
and including the whiz and all the different pieces that uh, everyone has choreographed. Mm -hmm. Yes, she gave uh, so many of us an opportunity. Right. Uh, and you watched the growth. We have been reflective of her pieces with this upcoming show. Yes. And to see her growth as a choreographer, her vision as a choreographer, and what she gave. We've seen some pieces that were done three times, and each time, I believe yes. she put more steps in each one. Um, but she was never satisfied. She was always pushing herself. Right. Um, Learning, growing, extending herself. It was very important to me. But always bringing in the team, and she always spoke that it takes a team to do all, to do all this. And we are all looking forward to Saturday, March 12th at the Performing Arts Center when the works and the celebration of Nina Cameron's uh, body of dances will be presented, and just as you've been talking about, and, and just a great opportunity. And I want to thank Thank you, Peggy, for sharing so many wonderful thoughts about Nina with us. Well, thank you for having us here to talk about her. Oh, very meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. Stay you. with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about the legacy of Nina Kessler Cameron, and I'm pleased to introduce Lisa Worthy, immediate past president, the dance company of Gainesville. And Lisa, Thank you for joining us also to, to reflect on Nina Cameron. Thank you for having me, Eileen. Well, this is a great opportunity. After all my years of knowing Nina, I feel I'm, I'm gaining much more insight. So take us to your many years with the dance company. How long have you been involved? Well, my children first started dancing at Cameron Dance Center 18 years ago. <laughs> Good yeah. history. It's been a long time. And what, what drew you to the dance center? Well, um, we actually started dancing there by chance because Nina and Dickie purchased a second studio in the Hale Village Center. Which is still there, right? It is, okay. yep. Um, and so it was convenient, but we chose to stay because it soon became very apparent to me how much of um, an inclusive environment the dance center was and yes. also what a family atmosphere through the teachers and the other students that was being developed. Well, it, okay, speak more about the family atmosphere. Number one, back to Nina's husband, Dick, or Dickie Cameron, as <laughs> we have all called him, who was a true partner from day one of her opening the studio. That is true, and when the dance company was formed in 1983, um, Dickie is the producer of our productions, and Nina was the founding artistic director. So the dance company each year puts on two productions, right. um, as Peggy mentioned, starting in 93 with Cinderella. Um, and we do that in December, and it has become a holiday tradition. And Definitely. then we do the spring concert in March. And which we're looking forward to uh, coming up March 12th. But OK, but think of all the people that oh. take, not just on stage, mm -hmm. but the backstage, the volunteers, tell me about that. Absolutely, so um, the board is comprised all of parents, volunteers, and then we have numerous committees, again, all parents and um, sometimes moms, sometimes dads. Right. There's even grandmothers who serve as seamstresses, um, we have the backstage crew. Oh, yes. And yeah. a, a huge backstage crew. You need a lot of people. That's correct. And what's really wonderful is that there are people that work in these different volunteer positions who no longer even have children dancing with us. And they still stay. They stay around <laughs> because those are their friends. Right. Um, it's and your family. It's your family, for sure. I, I can remember, too, some of the first spring concerts. I, well, Nina just always had these huge surprises, you know, smoke and, and, and lights and, and things turning. And, and it was, and I used to think how it was so fortunate that uh, Dickie, as the producer, understood how to make all this magic happen because together they were just a dance force for this community. That is I mean, true. It, when I think back, and I know everybody at, at the company and dance center is doing that right now, reflecting back. And, and you talked about a family and inclusivity, as Peggy said. Talk about that. I know there were students with special needs. Correct. You welcome them. Yep. Um, the dance company and dance center is a very inclusive environment. 
um, as a parent, I it was the place I wanted my children to be because regardless of their size or their height um, or their skill level, they were welcome. And they found a place, Nina found a place. She did. And because she did, everyone followed. I mean, she was is the leader, was the leader that set that um, opportunity up and everyone has followed suit, all instructors. I mean, it's just what, it's just the That's reputation she that she has uh, established over these many years. And, and what a good legacy. Um, I just, you're, the smile <laughs> on your face, Lisa. Yeah, it is a really wonderful legacy because even though um, Nina would cast her shows, you know, there was always sometimes disappointment um, if a dancer didn't get the role that they wanted. But um, Nina always told them every role is important to this show. You so, are part of the team. You are part of the team. And what was that? What's her mantra about the joy of dance? Say it. Um, it comes from the heart. Dance yes, from the heart. Dance from the heart. I have to say that everybody is dancing from the heart and, and from Nina's heart, too. Um, just It's just wonderful. And, and thank you for sharing so much uh, positive about the dance company, the Dance Center, and, and Nina Cameron. I thank you for having me. We appreciate you. Thanks. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're talking about Nina Kessler Cameron, and I'm pleased to introduce Melissa Gerhardt, founding member of the Dance Company of Gainesville. And Melissa, also a longtime friend. Yes. And we used to dance together that way back. We did. <laughs> We're always still dancing in our hearts, Absolutely. like Nina would want. Absolutely. Yes. And I know what a good friend you were of Nina and mm -hmm. her husband, Dickie. And so thank you for speaking about her and reflecting on her uh, passion for dance. And Nina always felt that giving back to the community was very important. And so d tell me how that has been expressed all these years. Well, thank you first for having us with this wonderful opportunity to share this, uh, this woman that we all love and admired. Um, we started da Chance to Dance back in 1983 when the Dance Center opened and when the dance company started. And at that time, it was a small program where we would go to different daycares and dance for the children, get them interacting and right. dancing with us. And since that time each year, the board and Nina took it farther and farther and right. farther. And at this time, we now have a partnership with Rawlings Elementary School. Excellent. And our senior dancers go to Rawlings each week in their after school program, and they teach dance technique to the children. And those children are invited to be in our actual show. So they oh, will be in the phenomenal. show at the Performing Arts Center. They will dance with the Dance Center kids, which are children who take at the studio, right. but who just aren't old enough to be in company. And they're going to dance a number so called Fame. So they will Fame. be able to be a part of that. They're yes. a part of the show. They're a part of the whole process. That's one thing that we do. The other thing that happens under the Chance to Dance umbrella okay. is at Cinderella time, the company adopts a family. And that family is usually a child that goes to the elementary school where that year's Cinderella oh, attended. How, what a yes. perfect fit. Yes. And the family thinks that they are just getting tickets to the show, a ride in a limo, all outfitted. And that's good enough. And that's good yes. enough. But at the end of that, Nina would always come and grab me and say, let's go see the best part of the show. Right. And we'd go outside, and they'd open the trunk to that limo, and there would be a whole Christmas for that family. It's just phenomenal. And it was just so amazing. And they weren't the only children that benefited. No. Nope. Children could come to the show if you were 12 years and under. Right. You could bring an unwrapped toy. And those toys during the Cinderella performance were distributed back to Rawlings to give Christmas for many, many children. And in the spring show, they go to the Ronald McDonald House. Oh, so that you have built on this chance to dance, which you were instrumental, just, Melissa, in starting all yes, these many years yes. ago, which you can feel proud of. It's I know so wonderful Nina was, to see. Nina was uh, and, and to see how you have uh, enlarged this into such mm -hmm. a scope to interact with the community. And that goes back to her, Nina's feelings about the joy of dance. Right. Wanting to yes. bring others into that opportunity. Right. And I always admired that Nina, 
I always say that if we were asked to dance, or the company was asked to dance, she would make sure they got there. Right, so it they didn't matter. delighted people with Thriller. They've lit every Christmas tree in town. Yes. They've celebrated every festival. <laughs> They've been by the, let's see, the pond at Everything. North Florida Regional yes. Hospital. Yes. 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 And I will have to say that we've been very fortunate to have funding from both the city of Gainesville Important. and the tourism grant. So we've yes. been very um, supported in those efforts and and that, that says a lot, and and, yes. it, and it means a great deal. And now, so. as you approach this uh, concert, this celebration mm -hmm. of the body of work uh, works of Nina Cameron, mm -hmm. I mean, I know this is, well, it's bittersweet, yes. but it's wonderful to see it all come alive on stage again. Right, and for so many of us that were mothers, because I danced with, as, with you, right. my daughter danced, to see those programs and those dances that our children were in is just a whole other level of joy. Right. So I think the dance company has always been about spreading dance, spreading joy, lots of love, and, and a real family environment. Yes, and as Lisa said, um, family environment also, but all of the people that work backstage and in all the different areas, costuming, everything to make it happen. All volunteering. That, all yes, everyone, all volunteering. Everyone. There's no paid person ever has been in the dance company, which is pretty phenomenal, I think. It is. The yes. magic has continued and will continue. And I think that's something to be very proud of I, for we, all we of all us. Are. That, and, and for you, um, we're, we're really about out of town time, but just say your few thoughts about Nina, because I know it means so much. I think that, and, and I did say this at her service, that Nina was a person who, although she was incredible, she was very humble. She also had a quality, everyone thinks she's their best, she is their, her best friend. <laughs> she had a way of making everyone yes. feel very special. And I often, I've teased her about her, and I still tease about this, she had a way that everybody wanted to work for her and make yes, it happen yes, for her and yes. make her dream come alive. And we're still doing it. I know and we I are. And I hope that we'll do it well it into will. the future. I agree. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Eileen. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about Nina Kessler Cameron, and I'm very pleased to introduce my guest, Jerry Lynn Rapsack, Interim Artistic Director, Dance Company of Gainesville. And Jerry Lynn, I'm glad you've joined us also. Thank you for having us. Certainly, this has been a wonderful opportunity to reflect on Nina Cameron, and I know that you're a very large part of this upcoming celebration of her dances, and um, tell us all about it. Well, we're really excited to dance March 12th at the Phillips Center, beautiful facility, um, wonderful staff there that we get to interact with. Yes. Um, our, we have dancers aging in rain or age from eight all the way through adult. Oh, this is great. Yes, and we're really excited to welcome back our partner school, Rawlings, students from there that will be performing in our show. We haven't been able to invite them in the past couple right. of years due to COVID. Um, as well, we'll be having alumni come join us for the celebration this year, performing on stage uh, with a reception after the show. Oh yes, I'm excited. Well, I'm not do the. I'm not performing on stage, but I'll be celebrating nonetheless. Yes, you know, uh, Nina really brought a lot of us together with her love and her vision. So it's a nice to have a moment to reflect and reminisce all together. Well, and for you, how many years? When did you start? How many years with Nina dancing? I started dancing at the dance center when I was in third grade. Um, my first teacher was actually Becky Barber, and she just, as soon as I came in, I felt the love that was you there. You felt it. I felt the love, and never wanted to be anywhere else oh. after that. Um, and, and then Nina, I solely went from Becky to Nina, and so Nina was my primary teacher for, since, Right. Since then. All those years. Yes. And, and talk about um, the different dances that will be part of the concert March 12th. So we, the, all of the artistic staff, we got together over break and it was nice. We got to get together, talk about our past favorite pieces from the past 39 years. Um, we wanted to showcase her range in right. choreography. 
Uh, we'll be having some ballet pieces, some jazz pieces, one of her more recent pieces with a little contemporary flair, lots of excitement, props, oh, lighting, <laughs> yes. everything. Nina uh, all the way. Yeah. Yes, yes. She was always, you know, pushing, pushing the envelope. Being part of one of her pieces was always really special. Um, so generally you would get to be involved in one like of her one. pieces. Right, and now. And this year we have the opportunity for some of our dancers to be in two or three of her pieces at a time. So it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work, work. Yeah. yes. Um, yes. The physicality required, the range of emotions in her, in her, the different pieces um, is, is a lot. And just for you, as all of you as teachers, how did you get all of these dances together to review all this and, and so organize? We, uh, a lot of us had videos, DVDs. We even have some VHS that we converted oh, wow. to digital. Yes. Um, and we had a fun Zoom movie night with our current dancers who were really excited to see, you know, the original pieces exactly. over the ages, see the decades, see the, the history that they're a part of. And what an honor for them to be a part of this, you know, uh, at this special time. They're working incredibly hard. Um, they're really excited. Uh, we're excited to share their work and share this these memories with, especially with the alumni coming back that were part of these original pieces. Right. Oh, I mean, the mood in the Phillips Center will be uh, unmatched. This is going to be quite a moment. And and tell me again. Uh, I know we said Phillips Center Saturday, March twelfth. What are the times? The show times are one and seven p.m. Okay. And we also are offering, if you have children under the age of 10, you can bring a new unwrapped toy or book, and we'll be donating those to the Ronald McDonald House. Excellent. As Melissa was saying, that's part of the, and all of you, the giving back to the community. And that, again, is a large part of the expression of Nina. Mm -hmm. And I know we're going to run out of time, but, but just um, give me a few words that's in your heart about Nina. Share that with us. Loving creative. She was a wonderful, just a wonderful leader. We all looked to her. We all, she really allowed us to develop our own artistry. Um, I think some, some choreographers sometimes have these ideas and these visions and these expectations of what they want. She had very specific ideas for movement, but she wanted each of us to find within ourselves what it meant to us, us and allowed us allowed us to be individuals through our art, which and is she, really special. She inspired that. Yes. It is a wonderful legacy and I thank you, Jerry Lynn and Melissa and Lisa and Peggy for sharing their thoughts of this wonderful woman. Nina Kessler Cameron. Thank you. And I hope I will see you at the concert March 12th at the Phillips Center. I'm so glad you tuned in and I hope you'll join us next time. Take care.